when word got out that Brad Rastenberger, our Secretary of State, made the decision to send out 1.9 million absentee forms to every single registered voter. That in itself was crazy. I arrived at about 745 and met up with many other people that were going to be monitors. I mean, they gave us a total runaround about how to even get into the building. The counting started much earlier before any of the monitors showed. Well, it's certainly disconcerting, especially when we were there specifically to monitor and watch how the process was being done. All they did was count. They were not doing anything other than taking the, those sheets of paper and putting them in stacks for either Trump or Biden. They are not checking any kind of signature. It was strictly for a recount. That's all that was going on in that room. They made a loud announcement that anyone that was a Republican monitor to move to a specific area because we could not be on the floor. You had to stand six feet away. And of course, then they moved the table farther back so you couldn't see anything. I mean, you had no idea what you were looking at. I mean, people were whispering among themselves talking about how rude everybody was at those audit tables. And of course, we were told we could not say anything to anyone or ask any questions, that we had to go and find a supervisor if we had any questions. Well, I'm not quite sure what questions you would ask if you can't see anything. The majority of those people were not happy that anybody was there monitoring. I mean, we know that Fulton County is a predominantly Democrat county, and they certainly did not want all of these Republicans that had came, come in as monitors to be doing anything that may upset the apple cart. One of the other GOP members that was a monitor took pictures, and she said, let's all start going taking pictures of all the stuff that's going on so we have proof was her thing, and I totally agreed. No one was told that we couldn't take pictures. I mean, everybody's got phone, I mean, their phones and their cameras. So the gentleman that came to uh, reprimand Bonnie Keller about taking photos was quite rude and all hyped up. The gentleman came over and asked to let him see the phone and the pictures and to delete those pictures immediately. No one was willing to let us hover around their table to watch anything. They were quite anxious for us to be around. During that time, I was having a conversation with a gentleman who identified himself as Stephen Sales. He explained that he was part of the legal team for Trump. And Jack Winters was standing at this the three of us standing together having a discussion about another table that was quite long probably had a dozen workers there, and they were looking at orange pieces of paper. And it was my understanding those orange pieces of paper were the numbers from each one of the audit teams that were counting ballots that were turned those orange sheets in. He said, Mr. Sales said that those numbers were then going to be put into a machine for counting. I saw no machines where they could be counting. And if you wrote a number down, I'm not sure does a computer pick that up. These are just kind of questions I asked. He was not able to tell me that. He also told me that he wanted to go and observe and they told him he could not observe whatever it was that they were doing. By noontime, over the microphone, the speaker system, they said, thank you to all you workers um, where all your Work is appreciated. Um, we are now complete, completed this count. There was possibly a dozen tables left that were still counting by the time I left the room. Now, to me, there now is no validity for the Republican oversight for any of these ballots. I served in the House, Georgia House of Representatives from 05, 2005 to 2013. There were three candidates. There was a runoff between myself and a woman named Gina Carr. The runoff was a set for a certain date. On that certain date, 
there was an incident that happened at one of the precincts. There was a shooting at someone's home close to the precinct voting district. And um, she claimed that the voters were not able to get to the precinct to go and vote because of this shooting incident. They brought in four or five witnesses. They claimed they could not get to their voting uh, place because of the incident. And the judge overturned the election that I had already won. I absolutely believe that there should be some sort of way to have a re-election. There are after Davis that are being taken. And therefore, I do believe that um, we should be given the opportunity to vote again and all everything be secure. I know this firsthand because I had to go through this experience. Absolutely, this could also happen at a state or uh, nationwide because it happened to me, firsthand knowledge. <laughs> the re-election, I won by 132 votes. 